the idea that you have in your mind that you can't attract quality men or quality men with your natural hair is bogus that is the enemy we have to dismantle the lies that the enemy is telling us like the enemy will tell us these things that we truly believe like i had hair dysmorphia for so long so long and like when i look at my hair and i feel it i'm like my hair is so luscious simply because it grows out of my scalp simply because god blessed me with it it's just luscious I just need to give gratitude like immediately when I feel it in my heart because we're not here for a long time we're really not and so I don't ever want to take that for granted I don't I don't want to take y'all for granted because I'm seeing y'all hit and subscribe all right I see y'all dropping some comments that are making me laugh and that are just uplifting me as well and I'm thankful that I'm able to uplift y'all right back but yeah I love y'all and I wanted to just let you know I am thankful and grateful for all the support with that being said, let's jump into this video because this is going to be a good one. Before we even jump into the men I've attracted with my natural hairstyles, let's talk about the kind of men I've attracted with my wigs. God knows that I love every single human hair the way I love God, right? I love my neighbor as I love myself. And I'm not going to sit here and dog my neighbor or act like there are men who are not worthy of me because that's not true right i'm not better than anybody nobody's better than me and that's on period yet and still <laughs> the kind of men the, the quality of men i attract with my wigs it would make you wonder why did i ever wear wigs in the first place it was usually old men or men who had girlfriends or were already in relationships and they were never attractive like i never found these types of men physically attractive <laughs> that's the kind of men i attracted with my wigs so you would wonder, you would think to yourself, hey, why in the world was she so in love with these wigs? Why did these wigs have her in a headlock? Well, I don't know. Honestly, I'm still trying to think about that myself, trying to wrap my head around it. A lot of it was insecurity. A lot of it was trying to impress other black women. A lot of it was pressure that I, I felt from other black women as well. Um, and then just the fact that wig wearing became so normalized from like 20... 14 15 16 17 and 18 like and even now it's just so normalized it got worse it's like been mutating i feel like the wig wearing culture has mutated into something like epic proportions it is wild but yeah if you were wondering what kind of guys i attracted when i was wearing wigs that was that was the caliber of men now let's jump into the kind of guys i attract with my natural hair this is a fun one i'm excited to make this video because i think it's important to tie this into the whole natural journey that I'm on. Mind you, I'm like legitimately married, been married for three years and been in love with the same guy for the last eight years. He and I have been together for eight years and we have a child who is 13 months old. So I am good and happy, okay, with my mans. I want y'all to know that the mans were calling, all right? The boys were calling a girl back in the day. And even like, don't tell my husband, but I still be getting flirted with low key. But I, I always deny it. When my hair was shaved, I'll put the picture here, I'll put the picture somewhere. When I when I had my hair shaved, it was a fresh big chop. Um, back in like 2018, I believe, when I got my, it was my third big chop. I was sitting at this restaurant, it was a Nigerian restaurant um, in Rhode Island, and I'll sit in there eating, and, or no, I was actually waiting for my food. I was sitting there waiting for my food, and this guy comes in. Let's talk about the way I was dressed that day. So I had my low haircut, I was fresh faced, not even the eyebrows filled in, nothing. Moisturized, of course, we gotta keep it moisturized because it was the dead of winter. And I had a big coat on, zipped all the way to the top. You couldn't see my body, you couldn't see anything about the shape of my body, the way I looked underneath the coat. And I was sitting down, first and foremost. This man comes up to me, he approaches me, and he asks me for my number. He says I'm beautiful and he wants my number. His name is Wale girls was he my type not really but i can't get his name like after that his name was forever ingrained in my mind one he's nigerian and that name is common we have a rapper named wale as well if you know him you know him but the fact that he saw me at my most raw form low haircut coat on no makeup on hungry i was waiting for my food to get ready come on now and i was sitting there I don't think I even looked that pleasant, but he approached me and like couldn't help himself but to shoot his shot. And of course I turned him down. I let him know, hey, I have a boyfriend who is now my husband. But the fact that like he looked at me and couldn't help but to talk to me, 
that is a dead giveaway in my personal opinion that I was looking gorgeous and I was strikingly beautiful to him in that moment and I was wearing nothing but my TWA like a short 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 low cut big chop and that is the type of man you can attract you can attract the guy who sees beyond the fact that you're not wearing makeup and the fact that your body is covered and he genuinely thinks you're beautiful that's the type of man you could attract with your natural hair girl then why are you wearing a wig why are we wearing wigs so back when I lived in South Korea, I started dating this um, Bulgarian American guy named Plamen. When I would wear froze, he would always compliment my afros. And one day I was wearing my hair in this short like braided bob. It was like mini braids and it was short. And he was like, your hair looks so good. Like he just complimented my hair. He was like, your hair looks great today. And at the time we were just friends. Like I never thought he would like me. We were in the same program. I didn't think he liked me. He was this really intelligent guy. Like I think he's a diplomat now, but he was like very wildly intelligent and didn't even date black girls. I never thought he was attracted to black girls. Like I noticed that he was typically flirting and you know, looking for the Asian women, like the Korean girls. But listen, by the end of the time of our program, he confessed that he had a crush on me. Okay, and then we started dating. We went to Hong Kong together. You can check out that video. It's on my channel. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, but there's a video of me and him in Hong Kong and in Shanghai. But listen, ladies, it was nothing but a mini braid. It was nothing but mini braids. I had mini braids in. That's what got him. He couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. So that's another example of the type of guy you could potentially attract. A man who is highly intelligent, a diplomat, a traveler, and a Bulgarian American. You like Bulgarians? Start wearing your natural hair. So I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I lived in Korea for almost two years back in 2014 to 2016, straight out of college. So I have a lot of videos on my channel about my time in Korea, but um, I definitely dated Korean men more than once, but there was one Korean guy that I dated who was very much attracted to me when I was wearing my yarn braids. And again, I feel like yarn braids are a style that are so slept on. When I wear yarn braids, I never get breakage. The yarn retains the moisture in my hair and my hair grows like weeds. It's crazy what we, well, I feel like we just don't understand the, the styles that really make us stand out. For example, there was one time where Hyunmin was, and we'll call him JJ. Hyunmin really even his name? Let's just call him JJ. So JJ was my boyfriend in Korea. <laughs> and one day when I was um, in the downtown area, it's called Jeju Shishong. I was waiting for him because he used to like take me out for dinner and pay for all my meals. And, and that's just a Korean guy thing to do but I was waiting for him um, at like a bus stop in the downtown area of Jeju City and all of a sudden this very fine Korean he was tall he was so tall and so fine ladies he comes up to me he's like in his broken English do you need help can I help you and I'm like oh I'm just waiting for someone and he's just like trying to talk to me he's like oh where are you from I was like uh, you know I was just you know speaking my little broken Korean and all of a sudden I see JJ coming coming from a distance and JJ was the Korean guy I was dating at the time and then JJ comes you know puts his hand behind, like uh, around my um, around my waist and he's looking at this other Korean guy and was like what you doing this is my girl and I'm sitting there like with my little yarn braids I have my yarn braids and just don't fight over me boys <laughs> don't fight over me and girl there was not a wig in sight. I had these two fine Korean men. I was in between these two fine Korean men. And I had my yarn braids in, sis. Not a wig in sight. Getting a free meal. If you, can't, if, you, if you don't understand that natural hair is the way to go, natural hair is the truth, I don't know what to tell you at this point. I don't know, these examples, I'm literally giving you, an, giving you examples. Funny enough, <laughs> So I, I asked my husband before I shot this video, I was like, baby, is it okay if I go down memory lane and make this video about the type of men I've attracted with my natural hair to encourage young girls and women on YouTube? He's like, go ahead. Because the thing is, I didn't want him to feel offended if I was sitting here like in, the, in our place talking about other men finding me attractive. But my husband, he's so secure. Shout out to him. In college, I dated two black men. Um, Yes, yes. <laughs> so I did two black men and all, like I said in like my previous videos, I went natural from 2010 to 2014 and all throughout college, I did not throw a single wig. Oh wait, that's a lie. I think I wore one wig before in college. Maybe I had one wig on with a hat on, but it was like for a day or two and I never went back. But for most of my college career from 2010 to 2014, I was rocking a low TWA, big chop, mini braids, mini twists, afro, ponytails, like, you know, perm rod sets. That's what I was rocking. And 
I attracted many black men. There were two black men that I, you know, ended up being boyfriend and girlfriend with. But regardless, like the fact that the fact of the matter is, when I was in college, I was attracting men left and right. There was one time when I freshly bitch out my ha my hair, where this very tall blonde white boy at the club asked to dance with me. I was like, um. I'm with my girls. Now let's talk about the Romanian. Oh my goodness, the Romanian. That was the funniest one. I think I even, if I can find the post that I posted about him, because sometimes when people, like, when men flirt with me, it depends on how, because it happens. It's a day-to-day -day thing, right? Like, you know how we are. We're beautiful women. What are you talking about? So men will come up to me, and I won't always, like, remember, because it's like un it's unremarkable it's basic it's typical like it's not it doesn't move me some of the times when people come up to me and compliment me um and it depends on like the energy but this one particular guy really stood out to me one he was going to harvard brilliant brilliant two he was handsome my god three he spent time with me before he you know delivered his punchline i was like listen so let's talk about andre and this guy, this name is not a real name. I gave him like a common like Romanian name. I never really got his name, but he came up to me. I was sitting at a vegan restaurant, like a vegan cafe in Boston, in Cambridge, actually. So I was sitting at a vegan um, restaurant in Cambridge and my husband was literally across the street at like a comic book shop. And I was just at this vegan spot. So I was like, I'm not going to the comic book shop. I'm going to stay here, do my little thing, get my little shake, get my little smoothie and eat this little acai bowl. So I'm sitting there, I got my little acai bowl. I think I even got like a turmeric shot. And I was just organizing my stuff at my little table in this um, vegan cafe. As I'm sitting there, let's talk about how I was looking that day. I feel like I need to go back, back to like the way I looked. I was wearing a yellow dress that day and I had my faux locks in. And my hair on the sides were shaved. I'm very adventurous with my hair, so I do a lot of different things. But the, the, the hair was growing in, so it was like slightly shaved, but still growing. It was growing in on the side, but kind of... The, the, the full locks were like tossed to the side. So I'm sitting there, minding my business, minding my business, not even realizing that I'm strikingly beautiful to people with the full locks because when I wear my little like protective styles, I don't ever feel as confident as I used to feel with my wigs. My wigs gave me literally the, the most false sense of confidence ever and nobody was ever looking or checking for me in reality when I was wearing those wigs unless they were deadbeats. Oh God forgive me, nobody's a deadbeat. I, I can't use that word, I can't use that phrase. I need to stop you. I need to learn how to like use better phrases. Men who don't have their priorities straight. So there were men that didn't have their priorities straightened that would approach me when I wore wigs and I was never attracted to them. But when men approached me with my natural hair, it was always like, huh, if I wasn't, you know, with somebody, that could have been potential. That could have been, that could have been something. Anyway, he comes up to me, I'm sitting there and he just starts talking to me. He's like, oh, I see that you're organizing your drink. Like you're very particular about your blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, what are you doing over there? Just like asking me all these questions. And I start talking to him. We start talking about travel. We start talking about, you know, him going to Harvard, like just small talk. By the end of the conversation, he's asking me to go get a bottle of wine with him, go on a date, go get some dinner. And I tell him, I'm like, actually, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> and he, that is that, you know, sometimes we think that like telling somebody that we have a boyfriend will make them like, you know, you know, we, we think that that'll deter them. We think that that'll turn them away and they'll be like, oh, you know, we're good. I respect men. You know, I'm going to stop talking to you. This young man this young romanian brother was like oh how serious are y'all girl i said what i said oh we're pretty serious we're pretty serious i think he i probably you know end up marrying him he's like okay well if it wasn't that serious i would have kept trying but since you say it's serious i'll let you go it was great talking to you but he gets up politely goes about his business and that's it i never see him again girls that was the cutest thing and the fact that he was fine not only was he fine, but he was at Harvard. The Harvard. <laughs> Listen, I'm not an elitist, but I, I was impressed at the time. This was back in like 2019. I was pretty impressed. And then that same year, my husband proposed to me and we got engaged. I was not going to risk it all for Andre. I wasn't. In college, I attracted a lot of Indian men, like Indian men from India. And they were gorgeous there were these two guys they were also very close these two guys that i remember i feel like they were both trying to like scheme on me i feel like they were both trying to get with me at the same time i'm like no 
Um, but one of them, I don't remember his name. I did kiss him. Like, I did. We, we did have an interaction. Uh, the other guy, he would hit me up. He would talk to me, you know, in the in, on Facebook Messenger. <laughs> he would hit me up on the, you know, he would, he would try to reach out to me and like talk to me and flirt with me and stuff. But it was never the right timing. I was either in South Korea or I was living somewhere that he wasn't living. I went to school in Ohio, by the way. But regardless, like he was definitely checking for me. I have a picture of me and him. It's so sad because I wish I could post these pictures of people. But it's like I can't do this. I can't, it's like I'm, using, I'm already using their names. I'm already using the na their names. The least I can do is keep their faces anonymous. But let's just just know that DP was somebody that the girls loved. He was so handsome. Not only was he a handsome Indian man, but he was muscular and he could dance. In college, I was part of the um, ISA, so the Indian Student Association. It was the ISA? I think that was, that's what it was standing, that's what it stood for. And every year they did Diwali and I would always do like some of the South Indian dances or I would do the Bhangra dances. And he would do a lot of the dances too. And he was such a popular guy. Like he was one of the most popular dudes, I feel like on campus and in that organization he was gorgeous but girl he was hitting me up trying he was hitting me up trying to get to know me he wanted to get to know me you know one thing about me that i have to mention is that i am very awkward i didn't start dating until i was in college one my first kiss didn't happen until i was 18 to give you an idea right and throughout that time it wasn't that people were attracted to me there were boys that liked me men that liked me whatever i just was so close to my dad my dad was my everything i didn't feel like i needed any man you know what i mean but yes uh i hope this video was entertaining i hope it painted a picture that with your natural hair you can attract the rainbow. I've attracted men from India. I've attracted men from Romania. I've attracted men from Bulgaria. I've attracted men from Ukraine. Oh my God, I forgot to talk about the guy from Ukraine. He was gore. I said, Lord, I think I actually have a video here on my channel where I talk about him because out of nowhere, so I stayed in Costa Rica at a co-ed hostel and I had my hair in this curly like look that day. And I walked out of my room and he walked out of his room at the same time and like looked at me up and down and was like, oh my God, I didn't know you were staying here. Ooh, I wanna get to know you. And like came next to me and touched my earring. How do you have the audacity to get that close to my face and touch my earring? You lucky you fine. You are lucky you are tall, blonde hair and blue eyed because you are fine and I'm not gonna smack the out of you. But the next time you try me, <laughs> listen, I'm a child of God, I'm a child of God, but he was gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I say all this to say, ladies, the idea that you have in your mind that you can't attract quality men or quality men with your natural hair is bogus. That is the enemy. We have to dismantle the lies that the enemy is telling us. Like the enemy will tell us these things that we truly believe. Like I've had hair dysmorphia for so long, so long. And like when I look at my hair and I feel it, I'm like my hair is so luscious simply because it grows out of my scalp, simply because God blessed me with it. It's just luscious. Period. I've had people reaching out to me recently um, as well to do like uh, you uh, to do like uh, content um, for products, like to review products. I'm here to say I'm not here to review products. Products are not going to help you grow your hair. Products are not going to solve your problems. Please, please, if you're watching this video, please don't come at me with a product. I mean, I love you and I appreciate you for inquiring about me reviewing your product, but I'm not here to review products. I'm not here to glorify myself. I'm here to give all the glory to God. And what God is telling me to do is to remind black women with type 4C hair that they are beautiful, that you will find a good husband, you will find good friendships, you will find success in your career, you will find success in your life. You are the head, you are not the tail. And that's on period. You are a lender, you are not a borrower. God knows the plans he has for you. And those plans are to prosper you, to give you hope, a future, and never ever to destroy you. And that's on period. So please, the least you can do is trust and believe that what he said in the Bible about you being fearfully and wonderfully made is true. And you gotta stand on that by wearing your natural hair. And I'm gonna be so bold and confident in saying this because I mean it. Anyway, y'all, I love you so much for watching this video. If you got to the end of this video, it's been all over the place. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.